All right, so I just woke up about 30 minutes ago, but early this morning, they released the details and animations for the upcoming Dokkan Fest Tech Kale and Khalifla that fused into Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. I was kind of hoping that it was just going to be a standalone Kefla, but this is also fine. And we're also going to be getting a new side unit int Super Saiyan Kava, finally showing this man the respect he deserves, so definitely happy about that. So uh, in today's video, we're going to go over all of their details, tell you guys everything you guys need to know about them, and uh, I will go over my personal thoughts, or at least early first impressions, about how good both these units are. But obviously, before we do that, the first thing we gotta do is check out these animations, which I have not seen yet, so this should be interesting. So uh, let me just full screen this, turn, actually turn down the volume a bit, that's too loud. And uh, here we go, let's see it. Okay, so that was Kaba. Just pausing that real quick. Um, damn, yo, for a side unit, those animations are clean, man. Especially the the unit super attack, right? The the partner super attack with Vegeta. Man, that could be like a Dokkan Fest unit animation, but nah, he's just the side unit. So now let's get onto the actual Dokkan Fest, the main unit here, the Kale and Khalifa. Let me just go back a tiny bit. Okay. Here we go. Okay, um, so at first I was like, yo, you know, Kale and Khalifa by themselves, right, like separately, not bad, you know, they, they look pretty good, that animation was pretty good, that, that was a nice animation, right, nothing extraordinary, nothing that really blew me away, but then everything from the active skill fusion onwards to like the actual Kefla animation, Oh my god, guys, like that. That was something else. That was. <laughs> oh my god, wow. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna say I was surprised because I, I knew they were gonna do something good with Kefla. Like, I, I knew, like, they had the source material right from the, from the anime, so, like, like they, they had something to work with. So, um, yeah, I'm not surprised by how good her animations look. But nonetheless, I love it, man. I, I love the fusion, and I love this this super attack right here, man. That's crazy. Wow. Okay, so let's just finish this out, uh, and then we gotta move on to the details. But yeah, Kefla animations A plus plus plus. Abba for a side unit also extremely impressive. But uh, yeah, let's jump over to now these. Um, uh, what do you call them? Translations. Translations from the homie Goresh, of course. Big shout out to him. Always appreciate the, the work. 
So, we got Kelly Khalifa here, Miracle of Friendship, Leader Skill, Bond of Friendship, or I think it's either called Bond of Friendship or Best Friends, something like that, or Rapid Growth. P plus 3, Attack and Defense plus 170%, and HP plus 130%. Uh, passive power to survive, attack and defense plus 160%. Or sorry, I missed the oh I missed the super attack. Super attack raises attack and defense, so they're stacking attack and defense with every super, and uh, causes immense damage. And then passive is attack and defense plus 160%. Performs an additional attack that has a medium chance to become a super attack. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 6% per attack performed up to 60%. Gains an additional attack plus 60% when attacking if there is a Universe Survival Saga category enemy. So I like everything up until the last part where it's quite situational, right? Like you're only going to be getting that against Universe Survival Saga enemies. And even though there's a decent amount, you know, there's still a lot of events where they're not going to be getting that. So it's a little bit unfortunate, but if you do get that additional 60%, you know, facing a Universe Survival Saga enemy, they're going to be hitting stupidly hard. I mean, even without it, they're still going to be hitting quite hard, especially in longer events, where you're able to stack that attack and defense for multiple turns, right? And of course, just like the Fizz Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, they get multiple attacks, right? They can super potentially up to three times per turn with the, um, you know, medium chance to become a super attack as well as the hidden potential system. So if you got like additionals in the hidden potential and you're getting like two to three supers every once in a while, uh, they should be stacking quite quickly in those uh, you know, longer events, even in shorter events too, right? If you just get like two turns of like double supers. So um, yeah, I like what I see from Kelly Khalifa. You know, they're not like stupidly impressive, but it's obviously because they get much better with the fusion. So that's the Kelly Khalifa separately. Uh, Link's uh, Saiyan, lineage, Saiyan lineage, Saiyan warrior race, Battlefield Divas, Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. Now, of course, their active skill is the Patara Fusion, able to be used after six turns have elapsed from the start of battle. So six turns for the Fusion. No other condition. Six turns seems quite long, but at the same time, this is definitely something that's intended to be used in longer events, right? So, um, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I would have preferred less turns obviously, but once you see how good this Kefla is, it starts to make a little bit more sense. So yeah, six turns have elapsed from start of battle, and for the Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, her super attack uh, raises attack and causes immense damage, so she no longer stacks defense. Their passive, oh hold on, let me uh, take my face away here, just so you guys can see the whole thing. So uh, yeah, super attack raises attack, causes immense damage, and then passive recovers HP by 60% once only. So a really, really nice heal there. Attack and defense plus 160% performs an additional attack. That has a medium chance to become a super attack, high chance to evade enemy attack, so 50% dodge chance. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 60% when attacking, and then gains an additional 60% attack when attacking after collecting six or more key spheres now this is just for key spheres right like regular key spheres right like no specific types or anything like that so um any key spheres you collect basically will work for this as opposed to like the kefla where it's like uh fizz key spheres right so um i like that you know i like that it's a little bit less restrictive for the additional attack boost and uh yeah, she is going to be ridiculous. Like, the, the Super Saiyan 2 Kefla is going to be nuts, man. So, I, I guess I get kind of why they made her, like, the fusion condition a little bit, you know, harder to get. Like, the six turns rather than four or five turns. Um, still, obviously, would have preferred less turns, but it is what it is. So, yeah, just my initial impressions right now, man. Just, like, based off the last, like... 30 minutes I've had to process this, uh, I think she looks quite good. You know, I do think she has a lot going for her. Like, do I wish they would have done, some, done, done something a little bit different, maybe? Like, something a little bit more unique to this unit, as opposed to just kind of, you know, taking, like, the previous Kefla, like, the SDR Kefla, and 
it, like this almost feels like an extreme Z awakening for the previous Kefla, you know what I mean? Like it's just bigger boosts. Um, she does a lot of the same same stuff, and I don't know, like I, I don't know exactly what they could do at this point, right? But like there's something a little bit different we haven't seen before. It would have been nice. Maybe I'm just asking for too much, but um, hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to say. You know, like it's really good. It's really good, right? The details are, the, the boosts are massive, but it's not really like super interesting to me, if that makes sense. Anyways, that is the Kefla, obviously. Let me know your opinions in the comments down below. Um, and then we're gonna move on to the Kaba here. So let's see, or Kaba, uh, let me just get this size right. Okay, so Id Super Saiyan Kaba. Leader skill, Bond of Master and Disciple, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack, raises attack and causes supreme damage, and then unit super attack, raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage. And the unit super attack can be activated when there's a character whose name includes Vegeta on the team, and uh, passive is attack and defense plus 130%, gains an additional attack and defense plus 6% per universe survival saga category ally on the team. Universe Survival Saga Category Allies, key plus 3, and attack and defense plus 40%, gains an additional attack plus 60% when attacking if there is a character whose name includes Vegeta, attacking in the same turn. And uh, Lynx, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Courage, Warriors of Universe 6, Turn of Power, Super Saiyan, and Fierce Battle, and categories are Universe Survival Saga, Pure Saiyans, Universe 6, Super Saiyans, Bottom Master Disciple, and uh, Defenders of Justice. Okay, so... Uh, this cab a very very good support unit as we've come to expect for the side units and um, You know if you have a full universe survival saga team He's getting like almost 200% attack and defense basically and then on top of that you get the additional 60% When uh, you have a Vegeta attacking the same turn which you know for a universe universe survival saga team Won't be hard to achieve right? you got quite a few options for that. So um, Yeah, also the unit super attack is attack and defense or stacks attack and defense right and all you have to do is include a vegeta on the team to get the unit super attack which is not hard to do at all so um i like the design of this kaba man you know he is a really really good side unit no surprises there right huge boosts uh great support um stacking attack and defense uh really really good unit so there you go, Super Saiyan Kaba finally getting some respect, man. Like I said, the last one we got was literally the 50% support, you know, like the STR support. So it was about time we got a new Kaba, and uh, they did him justice. They they did him justice. He, he looks great. So there's the Kaba, Kalen Khalifa, also quite impressive. Um, oh, I missed the did I miss the categories? I think I must might have missed the categories. Oh, okay, so. <laughs> One sec, before we go, before we go, let me just go through these. Okay, so, uh, Lynx for Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, prepare for battle, become Super Saiyan, Fused Fighter, and Power Bestowed by God. So essentially only one Link changes. And the categories um, are Bond of Friendship, uh, Rapid Growth, Peppy Gals, Universe Rival Saga, Patara, Pure Saiyan's Full Power Universe 6, Droid Forces, Super Saiyan 2, Final Trump Card, and Time Limit. So there you have it, Yellow Khalifa slash Kefla, and also Kaba, and uh, yeah, um, I'm excited for these guys, man. I, I I really am. I really am quite hyped for these units. Like, I'm not gonna say like they're the most exciting characters to me, but they're definitely up there in like the top ten, probably. Um, I honestly would have preferred probably like a, a cool like a new metal cooler right just because it's been so long since we had a new one um like i think the agl metal cooler was the last metal cooler we got and he was like insane he was like the first unit in dokkan where i saw the animations and i was like yo some something's different here you know like we're moving in a different direction with these animations and uh, it would have been cool to see what they could have done with him uh, you know, given like the time we've had to like continually improve on the animations, but nonetheless, man, I mean, when you see something like this, when when you see like especially the the fusion, right, the the, the active skill, and also the Kefla's animations, like you can't really can't really complain. So, uh, yeah, guys, before you go, before you leave the video, obviously, 
Let me know in the comments what you think about both the Kalen Khalifla as well as the Kaba. And uh, yeah, good luck on your summons, guys. If you're on JP and you plan to summon for you know these units, good luck. Hopefully it doesn't take you too many stones. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.